Hey everyone, welcome to yet another video of getting to know plants. This is actually the part number three of the chapter where we'll be covering flowers today. So flower, as you all know, they look very beautiful. They are, they have, you know, just uh, wonderful fragrances and they are of different colors, of different shapes and sizes, right? So how uh, different parts of the flowers uh, are there, what uh, what parts are there and how they are responsible for the reproduction, let us discuss. So flower, as you can see on the screen, is the mainly is mainly the reproductive part of the plant, which uh, also gets converted into the fruit, right? So due to the different colors of the flowers, we are able to recognize the plant. Yes, this happens. And what are the different parts of the flower? You can see there are petals, sepals, pistil and stamen. So let me just highlight it for you. This part let us talk about rose, a simple plant that you have all, uh, that all of you must have seen and you must have seen rose flowers also. So these are the sepals that are actually green in color, right? Sepals are basically that part of, a, of the flower which protect karke rakta hai. Of the four main parts, the sepal is the outermost part of the flower that is generally small. It looks like a leaf-like structure and this is mainly responsible for holding the petals together when the flower is in bud state right when the flower is in bud state what happens the petals they hold it together they protect it right so sepals you will remember it like this that it is responsible for the protection of immature flower right as you can see on the screen also so it is responsible for the protection of immature flower during the bud state so during the bud state a bohati uh, delicate hota hai bud right so uski protection ke liye by nature sepals are there that protects it so generally sepals are green in color and in some flowers however they are colorful right in some flowers they are like they are the same color of that of the plant uh, that of the flower also and they are very colorful that is why they attract flowers these flowers they attract insects also and then these insects are also responsible for pollination for reproduction of the flowers right so sepals abne abhi kya kiya sepal jo discuss kiya these are that part of the plant ab is image mein dekhte hain as you can see these green parts of the plant these are sepals these sepals they protect the flower in its immature stage that means the flower has not started growing yet it is very uh, tender it is very delicate and sepals will be around there just to protect the bud all right now let us see the next part so these are the petals petals like pattiya right as you can see so these are the petals of the rose as you can see on the screen also so above the sepals are the petals although they are like they are very soft, they are very soft, they are colored and they are respond. They are the ones that actually gives you fragrance. Usually what happens, the number of petals in a flower, they will be same as the number of petals, sepals, right? So let's suppose if there are 10 or 12 sepals and there will be, usually it happens that there are going to be 10 to 12 petals only, okay? So above sepals, we have petals, which is the okay? Then, if you talk about the important part, those who are responsible for the reproduction of the flower, they are stamen. So, what is stamen? The pollen producing part of the flower. Agar aap is tarike se hibiscus flowers mein, it is, I think, um, more visible. You can see ye jo stick hai yahan pe. That is stamen. And, agar usko break kar denge, if I am going to cut it, you can see they are carrying pollen grains. So, ye wo pollen grain hai, just mein do parts hote hai stamen ke, like it is first is anther and the second is filament. So, you can see on the screen, right, it is like this part. So, this tube-like structure, it is called as filament, okay, and the upper part is the anther and this anther carries the pollen grains. Ye wo anther hota hai, jiske paas pollen grains hote hai. Okay? So, pollen producing part of the flower, agar aap se one mark mein question poochha jai, so you will say that it is stamen, which is the pollen producing flower part of the flower. Now, it has two parts. First one is the anther, the upper part, and the second one, the tube-like structure, it's called filament, which is there to support the anther, right? To support the pollen grains. Okay? 
so what we have discussed there is a stamen which is the pollen producing part of the flower and then there is uh, it is composed of two parts which is anther and filament you can see detail in this structure right so there are four to six in number and they are the male reproductive part of the flower right so for reproduction you know that female and male both the parts are required right so male reproductive part of the plant is what is stamen now each stamen is made up of two parts we have discussed filament and anther you can see this is the live image uh, actual image of a flower where you can see aapne is tarike se dekha hoga ye hota hai anther jiske andar pollen grains hota hai right so this is the one that carries pollen grains and these long long tube like structures are filament which actually supports the anther also okay and if we cut it into parts you can see uh, the pollen grains also okay now let us talk about pistil pistil is that part the innermost part which produces ovule as you can see in my last image agar main pistil ko cut kar dun so these are the ovules right ovules ab kya hai male reproductive part ke jo pollen grains hai wo kahan par transfer honge so that the reproduction of flower will happen so these male reproductive pollen grains right they will get uh, we have to drop them in the ovary of that pistil so what happens it is con it contains three parts that is stigma style and ovary okay if you learn it with me you will be it will be easy for you to understand so that pistil has three parts the first one is the stigma jo upper part hame dikhta hai then that is will receive the pollen grains for fertilization then next is the style the hollow tube like structure that joins the ovary and the stigma together right and third is the ovary that produces all the ovules ovules as you can imagine it as a egg theek hai jisko fertilize karna hai the mature ovary develops into the fruit and the mature ovules develop into the seed ab ye jo parts hain as you can see here this is the stigma the upper part if you look very close into the flower then only though you will be able to see stigma style and ovary if you cut it ovary into two parts you can see the ovules so ovules mature ho ke seeds jo aapko fruit milta hai uske andar jo seeds hote hain these are the ovules jo mature hota hai and ovary it gets matured it becomes the fruit so what happens how the flower gets converted into a fruit so you will say that the ovary gets matured and it gets converted into the fruit and the seeds in that fruit are the actually the ovules that are now matured so what happens jo pollen grains the either wo kya hota hai ya to flower ke apne hi sometimes it happens ki ek flower mein dono male and female dono reproductive organs present hote hain and then wo pollen grains directly stigma ke paas aa jate hain theek hai sometimes it happens that the the flowers they have different male and female reproductive organs and they have to be get transferred right jo pollen grains hain unko male reproductive organs se female reproductive organ mein have to drop that drop them so that is what pollination is all about so pollination ke liye kaun responsible hota hai bees responsible hote hain insects responsible hote hain this stick the pollen grains uh, with their legs that is why itne colorful hote hain wo jab nectar banane ke liye they approach the flower they actually carry the pollen grains and then they drop it in the stigma part so stigma is the part that receives those pollen grains then it is fertilized over there and then how the fruit is converted abhi humne ye discuss kiya that this uh, the ovules and the ovary they are converted into fruit and seeds right so this you can see is the actual ncert image of your uh, diagram of this flower diagram so these are the stigma right now it has both the reproductive parts right it has male and female so this is stigma this is the pistil and these are the ovary right this is style and this is anther and filament which is what stamen which is stamen the male reproductive part and this is the female reproductive part right so carpel yani ki pistil is the female reproductive part of the flower it has three parts we have parts we have discussed stigma and the enlarged based ovary right and a stalk called style jise bola jata hai that is connected to the stigma and the ovary the ball like contains uh, the ovary contains tiny ball like structures called ovules which later gets converted into seeds now petals we have discussed these are colorful structure that surround the inner part of the flower right 
द इनर पार्ट ऑब्वियसली जो पेटल्स से ही कवर्ड होता है वो इनर पार्ट हम वेरी इफ यू लुक वेरी क्लोज इनटू इट देन ओनली विल बी एबल टू सी राइट नाउ सेपल्स आर द ग्रीन लीफ लाइक स्ट्रक्चर एट द बेस ऑफ द फ्लावर दे एक्चुअली प्रोडक्ट्स प्रोटेक्ट्स द सपोर्ट्स द फ्लावर प्रोटेक्ट्स द फ्लावर राइट एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड फीमेल एंड मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट्स आल्सो ओके स्टेमन आर द मेल रिप्रोडक्टिव पार्ट ऑफ द फ्लावर ईच स्टेमन हैज टू पार्ट्स फिलामेंट एंड एंथर एंड द पोलन ग्रेन्स आर present in the anther part of that male reproductive organ so this is a very important structure believe me ye nahi sirf aapke 6th class mein aayega it is there if you go, go into higher classes and you choose bio subject this is the basic of that right so i hope this is clear to you i have tried to explain it in a better way uh, in a detailed way let me know if you have any doubts and thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe also yeah then i have some discussion questions Uh, discussion questions for you as well so uh, these you can note it down uh, we will be discussing it in the next chapter in the next class so till then bye bye and take care